Hi everyone! Today we're going to be learning about Penstemon digitalis nut x stems, otherwise known as tall white beard tongue, smooth beard tongue, foxglove penstemon, and foxglove beard tongue. Foxglove beard tongue is a herbaceous perennial plant that can grow to be about 0.9 to 1.5 meters tall. This species is typically found growing in clumps and is commonly used in landscaping. And due to this, it has several different cultivars with different flower colors and leaves. Now, if we take a look at a distribution map of foxglove beard tongue in North America, we can see that it is native to Central and Eastern North America. This species has a bit of a tendency to grow aggressively as seen on the map more so in the Northeast. So if planted, be sure to maintain them and maybe don't let them go to seed. Speaking of planting foxglove beard tongue, if you're looking to add it to your landscape, it grows best in hardiness zones 3 through 8. Now when it comes to the foxglove beard tongue's natural environment, it can tolerate a wide range of soil conditions, but generally it prefers soils that are moist but well drained. Now when it comes to light, this species prefers full sun, but it can deal with partial shade. With that being said, some of the habitats this foxglove beard tongue can be found in include forest openings and prairies. Foxglove beard tongue emerges in the spring as a cluster of basal rosettes, then it shoots stems up out of the basal rosettes. Let's get a closer look at the stems and leaves that it produces. Both the stems and leaves are smooth and green. The leaves are opposite, simple, entire, sessile, and oblong. Something I do want to mention is that the leaves in the basal rosette will have a smooth margin, whereas the leaves on the stem will have a serrate margin. Foxglove beard tongue blooms May through July, and when it does, it produces a spike-like inflorescence of white, tubular, bell-shaped, perfect flowers. The flower, flower stalk, and calyx of this species all have sticky glandular hairs on them. The rest of the plant is smooth, though. Also, the calyx has five lobes and can range from green to maroon in color. Now, the flowers themselves have two lips. The top lip has two lobes and the bottom lip has three lobes. The flower also has five stamen, four of which are sterile. They are the ones that have the black heads that are curled inside of the flower. The only fertile stamen has tufts of yellow hairs on it, which is where the beard tongue comes from. Our pistil isn't quite out yet, but you can sort of see it up here. It is a little white dot that will extend into a long white tube when it's ready. Now, also inside of the flower are pinkish purple lines called nectar guides that can help guide pollinators to the flower. Speaking of which, the flowers of foxglove beard tongue are visited by bees, butterflies, and hummingbirds. After pollination takes place, green egg-shaped capsules will form that will mature around late summer to early fall and will become a shiny brown color. These capsules will split open and release many irregularly shaped dark colored seeds. Alrighty, thank you all for watching. I hope that you enjoyed learning about the foxglove beard tongue, otherwise known as Penstemon digitalis with me. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe and I hope to see you all in my next video.